Okay, hi everybody. So in this video here, we're going to look at another example of uh, factoring trinomials. And so we're looking at 6x squared minus x minus 15. And again, the method I'm going to use here is just going to be guess and check, because I think that's, for the most part, for a lot of the high school math, that's the quickest way to do it. So now let's take a quick look at uh, this expression here. I start off with 6x squared. Now, what I'm going to guess here is that this can be broken up into 3x and 2x. That might not be true. It might be 6x and 1x. I don't know. But it's it's a pretty good guess right now that it could be 3x and 2x. Then I look at 15. And I can break up 15 into 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. Now, I think most of the time when we look at this, we think 3 times 5. So I could guess this. But I've talked about this in previous videos here. This is actually not a good guess. And the reason for that is because if I guess that it's 3 here and a 5 here, then what I've got is a common factor of 3 in my factor. But that is not true in the original expression on the left-hand side. There is no common factor of 3 there. So it would, it's a bad guess to introduce a common factor of 3. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to change this. If I think it should be 3 and 5, then the better guess here is 5 and 3. Now, what I got to do is I got to check to see if I can recover that middle negative x there. So I've got these outer and these inner products here. So I'm just going to check this. 3x times uh, 3 is going to be 9x. 5 times 2x is going to be 10x. Is it possible to have those combined to get a negative x there? And the answer is yes, as long as the 10 is negative and the 9 is positive, which means I would have to put a positive here and a negative there. Now, let's just check and see if that actually works. Let's multiply that out here. So I've got 3x minus 5, 2x plus 3. Let's expand that out. So 3x times 2x is going to be 6x squared. 3x times 3 will be 9x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10x. And negative 5 times uh, 3 is going to be negative 15. And that's, that's really what I was wanting to see there. I wanted to see that that last term became a negative. When I combine those middle terms, I know that that's going to give me negative x because I was really careful about that. And so I got to make sure that the sign works for that last value there. And so there we go. By expanding that out, we recover our uh, initial expression so we know we've done that correctly. 